public service is something I was not expecting in my lifetime. As a boy, uh, my dream was to be a musician. And that 12-year-old kid sitting on the edge of his bed in Savannah, really scared about the prospect of being a musician, knowing that that was not a bankable career. But it's something that I wanted to do. Um, and when I got into public service, I found myself being removed a bit from the musician in me. Um, and that was okay because I was helping people. We live catty corner to the volunteer fire department. And before I was mayor, those fire engines would crank up and it was a party in the house. We ran from one window to the next, to the front and the back of the house, trying to figure out where those guys were going. And um, a few days after I was sworn in, we were sitting in the house, the fire engines cranked up and the siren sounded different. And I knew at that moment the weight of responsibility that the office that I had just taken the oath to serve carried. Um, the sirens still sound different and I think they always will now. We're here with the community painting. This is the second grant that we've gotten from the Fox Theater Institute. It's going to be a pretty neat year because it, it all leads up to a September 13th concert that I've been asked to play. First grant we got, I put together a big check presentation ceremony and had a dream band that I think you've heard about. Two of my favorite producers in the whole world, and two of the best producers in the whole world in my mind, uh, David Barbie and John King, and then drummer for one of my favorite bands of all time, and one of the reasons I moved to Athens and now Winterville, Bill Berry will join us on the drums, and my fiddle player, Adam Poulin. It's the 10th anniversary of the Fox Theater Institute, and it's their fundraiser to raise money for venues like ours. So they've asked us to play this year at the Fox Theater. Um, which is awesome. I've never played the Fox Theater, and um, actually, I've never been to the Fox Theater. The Fox Theater Institute has been amazing to our city. Winterville, where are you? Whoa! I'm so thankful. So many dreams have come true tonight for a lot of us up here. So many dreams have come true in our auditorium. And it has so many dreams yet to fulfill for young ones and people learning the arts and performing on our stage. And hopefully one day making it up here like me. The rain coming over the mountains, coming for me. Lying down in the valley in Cherokee. We spend our whole lives away to be washed clean. The rain coming over the mountains, coming for me. presented the key of the city to the Fox Theater Institute for all they've done for us um, before the concert the other night and um, I was able to tell them the story that when I was running for mayor four years ago uh, the family and I were riding bicycles around Winterville so we rode up to the auditorium and um, couldn't really see in the auditorium but I put my phone on the window on one of the windows and I snapped a picture and that's the picture that changed everything um, that picture is part of this circle the auditorium lit up inside. The seats, the stars on the seats, everything, and it all just came into focus what I had to do. And the auditorium became one of the main planks in my platform. I knew I needed to renovate that building to create a revenue stream for the city and to create a place for the arts and artists from all around rural parts of Georgia, northeast Georgia, that Atlanta and Athens don't necessarily reach into. I had a new mission as a public servant and musician the circle starts to form, right?
read a proclamation declaring September 13th Fox Theater Institute Day in the city of Winterville moving forward. That very morning as I was preparing to go to the Fox Theater to set up for sound check, the memory popped up on social media that I took the picture September 13th, four years prior to the show at the Fox Theater. So the circle was complete and I was a musician again. You know, I can feel the 12 year old spirit of, of that kid learning, teaching himself songs in Savannah and the 18 year old that stuck to his guns and was going to be a musician. And now me sitting here in this incredible city with this incredible community that's come together for a common goal to revive the arts. So the musician in me can have a part in public service. I broke with God. 